test the location before removing the tape's cover. Position the dash cam with the lens in the center. Remove the adhesive tape's cover. Press firmly while holding the dash cam with both hands. Now you can remove the lens cap. When needed, press the lock button to unmount the camera. The side cover can be opened to reveal the micro SD card slot. Press the micro SD card to pop it out from the slot. Rear Camera Mount the rear camera at the top of the rear window. Pay attention to the orientation of the camera. Remove the adhesive tape's cover. Press the camera against the rear window and hold a few seconds. Installing the power cord. Plug the cable into the DC-in power socket. Prepare one cable clip to secure the power cable. Set the cable clip at the top of the windshield. Secure the cable into the cable clip. Run the cable in the space between the windshield and the headliner. Continue routing the cable along the A-pillar down to the bottom of the passenger's door. Run the cable under the glove compartment. Use cable clips when needed. Take the coaxial cable. Plug the cable into the coaxial connector. Set the cable clip at the top of the windshield. Secure the cable into the cable clip. Run the cable in the space between the windshield and the headliner. Continue routing the cable along the A pillar and B pillar, all the way to the C pillar at the back of the vehicle, where you can hide the excess cable. Insert the cable into the rear camera connector. Locate the fuse box in your car. Refer to your car's manual if necessary. This is where your PMP will connect. Find a location to install the PMP, if possible within driver's reach and in range of the fuse box. Get the hard wiring cable included in the box. In the fuse box, locate a fuse with switched power, i.e. a fuse that is only powered when ignition is on. Examples, accessory power socket, audio. Help yourself with your car's manual if necessary. Get the fuse puller included in your fuse box or pliers. Remove the fuse. We will show you first how to attach a wire directly to the fuse. However, we recommend to use fuse taps and attach the wire labeled ACC red to it. Put the fuse back in its socket. We recommend using fuse taps for more convenience and reliability. First, attach the red and yellow wires to fuse tabs with pliers or a wire crimper. Insert the switched power fuse into the fuse tab's empty slot. Insert the fuse tab at the location of the removed fuse. Now locate a constant power fuse, which is always powered. Example, emergency lamps, cab light, or tail light. Remove the constant power fuse. Insert the constant power fuse into the fuse tab's empty slot. Insert the fuse tap at the location of the removed fuse. Fix the wire labeled GND, black, to a metallic part of the vehicle's frame to ground the power. Set the voltage cutoff and timer switches. Here we use 12 volt infinite timer. Connect the PMP and test it by turning ignition on on your vehicle. The LED should turn on. You can now fix the PMP in place. Now connect the dash cam's power cord to the PMP's female socket. Tip, secure the connection with additional tape. Arrange the wire safely. Your PowerMagic Pro is ready to work. Parking mode switch, off. Dash cam powered only with ignition on. Parking mode switch, on. Dash cam powered even with ignition off until reaching voltage cutoff value or timeout.